Hey YouTube, what's up? Um, I am doing another Joe review. This time on, like, literally out of the entire Joe series, like Rise of Cobra, Pursue Cobra, the Storm Shadow figures are my favorite. They're never a letdown. I'm sorry, my camera is being ridiculous right now, so. Alright, so. Here we have the figure in like a really kick-ass pose with all of his weapons and all that. Um, I'm I'm impressed with this figure beyond belief. It is fantastic. Storm Shadow figures never let down. So let me uh, strip it down to bare minimum. Yeah, he does have like freaking nine swords back there or something like that. Or more like six, but I just exactly that. All right. So here we have the straight up figure. Now this is kind of like a like the better variant of the Arctic um, a Threat series from uh, Rise of Cobra. Because, you know, with the Arctic Threat series, all of us who saw the movie were like, Oh my god, dude, we're going to get the Storm Shadow with the double swords. No, we didn't. That was stupid. That was mildly irritating. So they gave us one. This one, the presentation is just incredible on this. It's like, it really does look like he's been out in the desert kicking ass. Excuse my language. I mean, like, if you can, you can't really see it, but there's like some, his white pants are like covered in dust and all that. His, his armor and whatnot. Like, even his little, I don't even, neck, neck thing. You know, his hair coming out the back, his little pouch. I mean, it's just fantastic detail. Um, articulation on this figure. His head. Rotate 360 degrees. Go up and down. A little bit side to side. You can see that. His arms go out, up, rotate, and out. A little broken, a little bro broken arm pose right there, if you can see that. His wrists rotate 360 degrees. Um, because of his little comma right here, which is, thank God, like a, like a, like a soft goods material, that way his legs can move, that was another, like, bothersome thing about the Storm Shadow figures, is that their legs couldn't do crap. Now they can. So, his little red comma thing right here blocks a little bit of his chest articulation, but, you know, it's still decent. He can still you know, kick ass, and, um, his arm, you know, I did the arm, sorry, <laughs> his legs go out, do a little cry kick kick, um, forward, back, again, just a little bit restricted by the comma, double joint knees, yeah, there we go, um, legs, rotate, boom, there we are, um, and accessories. Fantastic freaking accessories for this. I mean, honest to god, this is great. A sh tongue, I mean, sorry. A crap tongue of weapons. Here he has his little backpack where his, um, his swords slide in and out and junk. So that, you know, you can put them on there. And he has actually... Let me, uh, count these. He has... Four long swords. I'm sorry, let me, uh, four long swords, two pegged, two non pegged. So if you want, Shazam, boom, little ninja twirl. He can do two of the long swords. He also has two short swords with pegs, so they can go on the uh, long swords without pegs. You know, it's just a combination, combination, combination. This is, like, probably one of the cooler accessories G.I. Joe has ever done. This, like, little chain whip thing. It's actually not plastic. It's actually, like, a actual chain. Like, a little metal bracelet chain or something. So it's loose. It's thin. And it's extended. So, and you don't break it. Um, these little spike things. You can, like, you know, you can hold it like a whip and throw it. These little spikes also come detached, can detach. So that way you have, just have, like, a little whip or something. Just so, yeah, that is pretty B.A. 
the updated version of the little uh, Wolverine handheld claws, which, because of the Storm Shadow figures, their hands are, like, inverted, so their fingers only, you know, are like that, so he holds them at an angle like that, so maybe if he's, like, holding a guy against the wall or something. But, um, and then he has these little, uh, ninja stars, which, these are, like, freaking microscopic. Okay. There you go. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. He comes with four of these, which go on little pegs on his, uh, comma. I've lost all three other ones. Managed to save that. So that goes right there, and he actually can hold these, too, which is surprising. Like, not in, like, a good throwing pose, but, like, I suppose. So, yeah, you can see that. So, this is a freaking awesome figure. I, overall, I, I think I'd give it a, maybe a four, four and a half out of five. It's not perfect. It has flaws, I will admit. But it is really freaking epic. So, that is it for this review. I will see y'all later.